What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a little another Dominaria remastered draft. I'm not sure how I feel about this format yet. And if you don't see any more drafts of this of this format, that's why. Mystic Remora, borderless, beautiful. <laughs> We're not gonna take that. We will take Confiscate, however. That seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's take Confiscate. Let's go blue. Confiscate's a really strong card. I don't know if it's strong in this format because I have no idea, but yeah, Confiscate is uh, a, a little thiever. I love Call of the Herd. This hits all those nostalgia feels. Call of the Herd used to be a thirty-dollar Odyssey rare. It was un it was unbelievable at the time. Like to get to get two three three elephants out of one card was just unheard of. It was so good. I wonder if that still holds up in this particular format or if Thieving Magpie is the pick. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's also Icker Slick, which we saw 14 of in the previous draft, in case you guys missed that one. Talking to the YouTube folks. Obviously, the people in the chat didn't miss it because they were right here for it. It's either Magpie or Call of the Herd. I know this is a strong card. This could be a strong card, and it puts us in green. I kind of just want the magpie. But honestly, there's so much removal that I feel like Call of the Herd is probably just better. I'm taking Call of the Herd. Three mana, one, two. That lets you untap a land. What is this? It was like the sound... The sound effect's like doubling up and lagging. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, there's nothing great here, unfortunately. These are the three green and blue cards that we have options to. Voice of All is pretty good. I mean, Lieutenant Kurtar is pretty good. It's just two mana sack and an Excel attacking creature, but it's a 2-2 flyer. I'm going to take this. Kavu Primarch is fine. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three for 4, but you can also convoke it. You can kick it. If you kick it, it comes with 4 counters, so it's 7-7. Seven, seven. I think that's probably fine. Fire and Ice is also good, but it, and it leaves us open to any Flame Tongue Kavus we might open, but how many... Uh, what are the odds of that? And it puts us in a third color. I guess it doesn't necessarily put us in a third color. Because we could always just play Ice. But Primark is literally on color, so... I mean, if I get any... If I get any flame tongue cobwebs, I can probably just take them anyway without having to also take the fire and ice. So after the draft portion, I'll just restart Magic Online because of the Oh look, a regular Mystic Remora. We've we've seen two Mystic Remoras this draft. That's nice. Target creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as seven more cards in your rivers, all so it's a lure if you have threshold. Uh, I'm going to take the Terminal Moraine because it does get us a, a third color if we want it. I don't know. It's, it's a really underwhelming fifth pick. Symbiotic Beast. Actually, this card seems pretty decent. It's a 4-4 four, four for 6. When it dies, you create four one ones. So There's no, like, second version of the client up, right? No? Okay. Just this Liliana background. Sounds good. Um, primal boost. Plus four, plus four. When you cycle it, you may have a creature get plus one, plus one. That's not bad. Draw a card and reveal it if it isn't a land. Discard it. Yeah, this card's actually pretty good. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. I feel like this was good at one point. I almost want the, just the primal boost as like the trick, right? I don't think I don't. Werebear seems great. Oh yeah, Werebear is a banger, especially because Werebear is uh, <laughs> like there's tons of cards that go to the graveyard in this format. It seems so. <sighs> I 
The right to bear arms was the most ridiculous flavor text ever, and I'm so glad they kept the original flavor text. He exercises his right to bear arms. You know, I'm going to be honest. It's so weird that Wizard doesn't lean more heavily into stuff like making this whole set retro frame. Like, it's a throwback set. It's called Remastered. It's about Dominaria, the literal, like, first plane of magic. So just make all the cards retro frame, and it's this kind of, like, cool bonus for everyone. Uh, I'm just going to take this giant spider. Like, I don't know. I, that feels like it would be a super cool, like, gimmick for the set to make to make everything um, retro frame. And then there's this whole set where, like, all the cards are retro framed. So then you have, like, cool momentary blink retro flame. Flame. Retro frame. Oh, my God. It's, like, not... It's, it's like... <laughs> Why is it why is it doing this? Uh Stone Invoker is actually reasonable. It's a two-two for two, but then like late game, it's kind of a beast. Emerald Charm. On top of permanent, destroy a non-aura enchantment or a creature loses flying. It's not great, but it is it is a card that exists in the colors that we're playing. Also, a ton of white cards. I don't know if they're good enough. What's Vigilant Sentry again? Oh, he's just like the, uh, if, with Threshold, it's like plus three, plus three. It's pretty good. If no Threshold, though, he's just a two-two for three, so. Solkanar the Swamp King. Battle Screech actually might put me in white, especially with some of these guys. That's a bonkers card. MTG has been out too long. I agree completely. I say that every time. I'm like, I don't understand how this 22-year-old program literally can't handle zooming in. Like, it's so comical to me. I'm like, w that's what kind of scares me because I feel like I was told by someone that Daybreak Games, the company that, that Wizards uh, entrusted Magic Online to, is the company that games go to die. And I don't know if that's true. But for someone to have that kind of perception, it really makes me apprehensive about the future of Magic Online. No, they didn't stop updating it. It's not like it's sunset or anything. No, this is, I mean, this is the brand new set, right? So like, this came out yesterday, so they're still updating it. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like you could make so much money on this, but instead they're putting their money in Arena, which doesn't even have half the functionality of Magic Online. Tap three untapped white creatures. So we just, do we want white creatures? Who knows? We could also try to play three colors, but I don't think this is a three color format and I don't think it really helps us at all. I'll take the Javelin here, I guess. We're going to play Kurt Her and Vigilant Sentry now because we're trying to Oh, Jeldoran Gargoyle. Yeah, it's got to be the Gargoyle here, right? Maybe it's Savannah Lions. Savannah Lions uh, enables Battle Screech quite a bit. <sighs> that feels terrible, man. I hated Arena. I don't know how it got survival. I swear they were paying streamers to play. They definitely were at first. I mean, that was kind of what the MPL was, right? Like, they gave all these these top magic pros a $75,000 a year salary just to play MTG arena and be a member of the magic pro league. Oh, Mystic Enforcer, that's a banger. Terravore, that's fantastically bad. What is Cryptic Gateway? Tap to untap creatures you control. You may put a creature from your hand that shares a creature. I'm out. <laughs> once they once they had to share types, I was like, nope, I'm gone. I uh Pilot Eater, that's exactly how I feel. I like the experience on Arena. I think it's fast and responsive and it's intuitive. And the animations are solid and informative. And I feel like like, like when I play something, it's very clear what's happening. Um, 
and it's quick, like it's responsive. Like, so I'll play a thing. It'll go here. It'll tap a man. Like it's doing things. It's, it's taking away a lot of the, a lot of the rigmarole from like, just, just like what you have to do in magic online where I'm like, I'll tap every land individually. I'll click it once. And then the sub menu will open to tell me to pick which land I want to, or which, which color mana I want to use. And then I'll pick that, you know, it takes out a lot of that, which is just, which is nice. The problem is all of the formats suck and the economy is actual garbage. And it's been one of the biggest complaints for players since day one, but wizards has to hit, hit its, hits numbers. So they're never going to let that cash cow die. I agree swapping TCG to CCG. I, I agree. I, I, my, one of my biggest complaints that I've mentioned probably 40 times is that I wish I didn't have 16 copies of duress in my collection with the same art that I can't use. Oh, cool. I have an M15 an M17, an M20, an M21 duress, all of the same art, but I can't use them any differently. So why do I have them all? I don't know. I'm going to take Tatiova. I think it's better than Phantom Flock here. And also like, if there's a way to splash blue, I'm going to try. Eh, we'll take this two drop that gains us two life. And then maybe he'll gain us more life. Remote aisle, huh? Sure. Nomad decoy. Okay. I'll take you, brah. All right, brah. Another remedy, huh? Think of the sh well, please, somebody think of the shareholders. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. <sighs> Sounds like you need someone to duress. All those direct. If if Arena gets Pioneer, I'll one hundred percent play it. Pioneer is one of my favorite formats to follow. Um, Jesus, I hate first picking this guy. I'm rather I'm I'm just taking the Flame Tongue Kavu. We don't know what's happening here. Maybe we're five color green. Who knows? This pack is... See, I don't know if this pack is trash. Oh, this is actually legit one of my favorite mountains that exists. This is also from Portal Second Age. And this is actually the mountain I use in my Vintage Cube now. What I did for my Vintage Cube was I chose basic lands that um, heavily display the same color palette throughout. So like if it's a green... If for the forest, I chose one that is predominantly green that you can easily identify... I think it's just Mindstone here. Good lord, that feels bad, but I'd rather ramp into some of these. Sarah Angel, what a what a banger. Can I get it? I can get this. <coughs> I would love to actually I, I kind of want to play Explorer because it is just pre-pioneer on MTG Arena. It's Pioneer before Pioneer. And that's fine, you know? Um, two call there. Oh, it's uncommon. Wow, I thought it was rare. That makes me think the, the first person I played against just took the rare, because it wasn't there. So that's literally what they had to do. So I'm right to think that, I guess. I'll take another werebear. I, I don't know if I'm splashing any colors now. Like, our deck is double call the herd. Deadwood Tree Folk, Squirrel Nest. Is Squirrel Nest just really good here? Yeah, after this, after this uh, draft, I'll show you guys the lands I chose for my Vintage Cube and see if you, see if you care. Return another. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking this guy. I think this guy's probably better. Being able to get back like. Sawtooth Loon. 
Put two cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. Interesting. I could not care less about that guy, unfortunately. Like, you have to return a creature and you're just looting two? If I was, like... Like... This is this, this was Mall Drifter, you just draw two. You don't have to return anything. Come on. Try to keep up. I'll take that crop rotation. I don't think it's another Kavu Primark here. I mean, we could probably play those two if we actually take the crop rotation, but crop rotation is inherently just not great value. I'll take a slippery Karst. Slippery Frank Karsten. Okay, this is 25 cards. With no remedy. Someone said remedy was a was a banger. Who was it? Reveal yourself. I know Muldrifter and you, sir, are no Muldrifter. What is that from? Tell me about it. I take the javelin ears out. We can sideboard that guy. Last pick land? I know it's gonna be a land. We'll also do the good old-fashioned restart after this. There's about... Hmm. Interesting. Huh. All right, this is 24 cards. Oh yeah, let's restart real quick. So the vintage cube lands I've chosen is this island. So it's like it's got a a pretty uniformly blue color palette. This forest, pretty uniformly blue green color palette. This one has a pretty uniform palette with like the below. It's kind of like this grayish purplish blackish color, which is nice. Same thing at this one. This and this match very well. And then we have this sweet portal mountain. Oh, yeah. The invasion on Odyssey Basics are just so good. Like, it was hard not choosing, like, four invasion lands. Um, but, yeah, like, at a distance, like, if I held any one of those lands up, like, 20 feet away from you, you could easily tell what they are because they're colors. Um, as opposed to, like... There's some other ones I also picked out. Like one of the other planes I really like, I really love this planes, but there's so much blue in it and like, it, and there's like kind of green, like it doesn't, it's not uniformly white. It's just very good. It's a very good planes, but it's not uniformly white. And that kind of bugged me. Same thing with this. Like I really like this one, but like there's so much more pink and blue in here. Whereas like the one I picked it's very strongly this color yellow. So it's like, if you look at it, it's like one uniform color, which is kind of what I was going for. And this is, again, this is one of the the swamps I absolutely love. It's actually from the first portal set. But yeah, then like, I also love this mountain. Like this is from Odyssey. This is one of my favorite mountains. Um, there was another mountain from Portal. Replying to what is it? What do you wait? What's going on here? Spencer, what are you responding to? Christian, what did Kerwitz say? The user in the soundtrack that's playing in the scene is La Corsa second version. I do, Spencer, I do want the I like the way you die boy line isolated. 
That is correct. Um, let's cut a card and, and play our deck. We have two slippery cards. I don't think we need this with uh, with only two colors. And I'm not going to like... That would take the cleric out. That guy sucks. With only one of them, I'm just like, get out. Get out. Um, so we have a lot more. We have one more green card, but we also have double, 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 double white. So I think we're just going to add the extra white here. And we'll see if this is any good. Like again, this this is the another example is this John Avon Forest, which I absolutely adore. Like this is a fantastic forest; it's unreal. Um, but again, like this floor is so orange that I just kind of wanted to avoid it as my chosen my chosen forest. See, and again, like again, this is a great island, but again, it's like it's almost like a tropical island because of the blue or the green, rather. So it's like. You know, I tried to make sure like the, the the lands I chose were so color centric to what they what they were. John Avon Hart is is definitely right. John Avon is wonderful. Um, Wear Bear is basically the same as Mindstone here, so I'm gonna play that guy. Oh, snap. Oh, biscuits. Um, one, two, three, four. I guess it's just giant spider here. Oh my god, it's so much more responsive since I restarted. It's unreal. Oh, giant spider. Get him. So we can either play Mind Stone here and hope we draw a land in order to cast one of the six drops. Or we can just cast Mystic Enforcer. I think it's Mystic Enforcer. Because if we draw if we draw a four uh, a planes next turn, we can also do Mind Stone into Battle Screech, which is good. And then we can also flash it back with the Mystic Enforcer. Fuck! That's frustrating. Thieving Magpie and Flame Tongue Kavu, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. Double. <laughs> Fantastic. And that was how we lost to uh, Thieving Magpie. Great. Used forests in a Psychotog deck? How does that work? Explain it to me. Unfortunately, we like have to block here. Well. <laughs> it's going well for us. You might say. <sighs> this is this engine is unbeatable. I'm not even gonna play against it. Like there's no way we're gonna win when they're drawing two extra cards a turn. Like that's just not a reasonable proposition. I'm almost tempted to play temp terminal moraine with a with one mountain to play this flame tongue Kavu. It's that good. And maybe I'll play Tatiova as well. We'll just have one one island. Yeah, I'm a, you know what? Get rid of planes. Get rid of planes and forest. Do 
this is not a fast format. <laughs> so we're going to play it up. We're going to live like there's like there's no tomorrow. Because there might not be. Take out Phantom Flock. Take out Vigilant Sentry. Take your double... Get your double white ass out of here. Nailed it. This guy into this guy. This is a curve right here. Interesting. So now we can go Slippery Karst in the second Call of the Herd. Oh, I didn't even know this guy was in here. Despite drafting six packs and seeing seven Icker Slicks, I have not seen a single Elvish Aberration to my knowledge. Get in there, you beautiful bastard. You know what's sad? Flame Tongue Kavu kills Sarah Angel. One island, one forest, one tattoo. I'm already missing something from last draft. Look at that. There he is. I don't actually know what... What was bleeped there. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good, right? That's okay, I have multiple flame tongue kavus, you see. Okay, that's not a flame tongue. I am dead inside. Oh, they just bounced their flame tongue. F beautiful. It's true. That's actually so much better. God, mana wars and flame tongues. Uh, actually, let's kill the Aquamiba. That's a much more flexible gentleman, if you know what I mean. Threshold and Call of the Herd is uh, non-synergistic, we'll say. Oh, wow. Shocking. No, it dealt four damage. Shock only deals two. Beautiful. What a beautiful babe. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Ooh, beautiful. Yep, that's what we want to do. We just need one more land to do it. Nailed it. Thanks, Neon Tokyo. What a guy. I feel blessed. And you could be blessed if you try it. HelloFresh. You get 21 free meals with the promo code and link above, along with free shipping. That's about eight meals. No, that's not true. It's about half price on your first order, which is a great deal, because the meals come out to about 4 or $5. We have been enjoying them immensely. And it's about the third time we've ordered HelloFresh, uh, independent of the sponsorship, so... I mean, I feel like just blocking here is totally normal because we can double block here. They kill the Mystic Enforcer, which I think is better for our long game. And we don't get four one ones, but they do. So this is wonderful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once we get this Flame Tongue Kavo going, does Lion come into play untapped? Tapped? You have to pay two and it still comes into play tapped? Come on. 
Where's the justice? You can be blessed with both free time and healthy and delicious food with the time you'll save by not having to go to the grocery store and pick out individual ingredients. Trust me, no one likes that. I mean, trading a 2-4 for their 4-4 four four seems fine. They do have a lot of guys, though. <laughs> Fucking, how good is Flame Tongue Kavu? I don't know. You bounce it three times, and then it's pretty good, I guess. So. Give me that B Screech. Can you deal with a 6-6 six, six flyer? Well, they're dead on board, so that's cool. Do we just win with Mystic Enforcer, or do, when, one of the, is one of our last two cards going to actually give us the business? Oh, they're digging. I like it. Oh, Neon Tokyo, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, buddy. Definitely let me know how it is. I want to know. If we can hit a red mana to Flame Tongue Kavu, they're a flyer. It's perfect. And also, if we alpha, they're just going to have to chump block the 6-6. Six, six, so we can just eat this guy and deal, deal two, little, two little pointerinos. Oh, wow. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, wow. What is happening? Yeah. If you do that, I'm just going to alpha. <laughs> huh. So you have three blockers. So six, eight, nine, ten. This is 12. You can block three ground guys. So you block this, this, this. And then you take four. Uh, yeah, no blocks. I guess I could have blocked a 1-1, one, one, but... Okay. <laughs> why, why would you attack like that? That's wild, man. I wonder if Remedy is good here versus infinite Flame Tongue Kavus? Who knows? <laughs> Who can say? Uh, Radiance Judgment is good against their Flame Tongue Kavu. That's cool. I feel like our deck is decent. Am I crazy? I'll play one Remedy and go to 41. Someone did say Re Remedy was nuts, but I just feel like it's, is it? I don't know, their deck seems good. I'll keep this and I will also cycle that Karst, that slippery Frank Karsten. I can't believe they're playing Misha's Factory in their four-color deck. Their three-color deck? I don't know what's going on. That seems shocking to me. Shocking. Oh. Aggressive. <clears throat> Interesting. Guess who's back? Werebear's back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Aren't you playing Flame Tongue in a non red deck? I think so. Who can say, you know? God, look how aggressive they're getting. Might as well get in there. Before you play your one of... I bet they got three Flame Tongue covers. We passed two of them, did we not? Hmm. 
I think that was the first draft, actually. Kata! Bagok! Oh, boy. That was my bird impression. I hope you guys liked it. If they flame tongue anything, we got this primal boost. We're going to get boosted. Hmm. That's good. That's very good. Obnoxiously good, you might say. So it's like a zero for one because they're just drawing a card and replacing the snap. Let's just pretend they looted and replaced their snap, you know? I like that they don't have green here. That's actually reassuring. <clears throat> you turn three basic lands you control to their owner's hands. What? What? Are you serious? How does that not set you back immensely? I'm kind of blown away by that decision. Nah, I don't want them to attack with their mana war, so we're just going to pass here. Can't be this cream. I'm going to make a 1 1. I'm going to make a sheep. Sure. I mean, they have like 19 cards in their hand. I feel like we're still kind of far behind though. I really just want to be able to deal with this thieving magpie, but we don't have great ways to do that. Look at my sheep. I just want you to look at my sheep. Do they need more cards? That's what I'm wondering. Because they have nine cards in hand. <laughs> so they discarded an island. I bet they play an island here. It feels like it's fine late game, but like on turn... When you have five lands, returning three of them in your hand seems just utterly wild to me. You gonna counter this? Oh my god. No? Fascinating. Oh my god, I'm clicking this one on the bottom. There we go. Good gracious. You got it. Uh, one damage to target. Sure, I'll give you a solar blast by itself. <laughs> yeah, nice factor fiction. I got one card. I 
Guys, good. That guy's good too. Bunch of good goods here. So long, you little bitch. <laughs> Ooh, Deadwood Tree Folk. Getting back <clears throat> primal boost seems decent, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, is it a creature? Oh, it's only creatures. That's no good. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's awkward. Creature, yes, correct. Thank you. Um, this Drake makes it hard to attack, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just pass with Remedy up. Six mana. You got it. Boy, this is this looks like a grind fest. <laughs> that remedy art is really something. I feel like you're not wrong. That's some photorealism there. Eh, let's pass. I mean, we can start tapping down their Drake. And attacking in, our, in the air. For six? It's a pretty decent clock. And it's nice because we have the dead with tree folk too. So like if they kill it like the tapper now, it's not great for them because we just get it back. So we're going to get to attack at least once, deal them six. Actually, it seems really good for us. Because we'll be in the turn that the Deadwood Tree Folk dies to get him back so we can actually tap them for that turn as well, which puts him down to one. <clears throat> and then we can just alpha. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if we win this match. What's the word? Are you going to play your cards, my friend? We know they have Solar Blast in hand. Mana War. Seems good. What are you bouncing? Tapper. That sounds about right. Oh dear. Oh god, another 4-4? Four four? Another big idiot? You got it.
So if we attack here, they block here, they take four. That doesn't seem great. I wish I had a more efficient way to enable threshold here. <sighs> Tempted to just cast call the herd. One, two, three, four. Uh, we still get to keep up. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> They have two cards. Wow. They have really... Their hand has really dwindled. I will assume they have no more islands. Because we know they don't. That's why. That's a good reason. Smart. <laughs> Said in a 1920s Chicago accent. <laughs> it's real old-timey gangster stuff here. These are... Yeah, these are one of the best planes ever printed. Goodbye, old friend. I do like that guy. How do you like this apple? So here I am, doing everything I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine, ten mana total, so we can actually kick and convoke this guy. And also keep up Remedy. Cast with kicker four, so one. Two, three, four, five, and then eight. Get Primark done. Are they cycling? Oh, they're cycling. That's even better because we get to. Wait, they were killing our Mystic Enforcer? Are they going to alpha and we're going to be able to remedy and save ourselves? God, I hope so. That would be epic. I think they kill the... Oh, they're killing that guy? Mm, I don't like that. So for four damage, I'd have to prevent three of it. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. One, two to me, three to him. <clears throat> also, oh, we just win the match from Remedy. God, Remedy is broken. <laughs> wow, I that was, wow, I did not think we were gonna win that game. I mean, based on how slow this format is, I only I almost think Tatiova and Flame Tongue are worth the splash. Is that crazy? Vigilant Sentry seems worse, especially if we're not getting off uh, super strong. Also, momentary blinks. Oh damn! Oh damn! Primal Boost can probably come out. We cut one for island. One of these. Cut one slippery karst for the that one. So one, two, three, and cut another, another one of these guys. Momentary blink is interesting. How many targets do we have for momentary blink? Looks like it's just flame tongue. Yeah, it's just mostly flame tongue. 
Yeah, I think we can deal without having that because we do have white main line already. Mm. Wow, that was a surprising victory. Their deck seemed very good. <laughs> So here I am. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely feel free to subscribe or follow on Twitch. It's a great way to support me, help me out while, while between jobs. And you can also do that on YouTube as well. It's a great way. I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> Outside of supporting me, it's, I mean, it's good for the algorithm, right? Like YouTube loves it when people like and, and, and leave comments on videos. So if you do that, the algorithm is like, it eats it up, you know? I can't believe we're splashing for Tatiova and Flame Tonkavu. Off of one upgraded Evolving Wilds. And this is, this is a hand, all right. I'll keep it, I guess. See, again, this is another example of, like, a land I love. I love this beta... This beta uh, island, but I guess it's an alpha island technically. Um, but again, there's so much green on it that again, it doesn't, it, it screams tropical island. You know what I mean? Like, so there's that. Notice if you will, that we've consistently had blue in all three games that we've boarded blue in, yet we have not seen a single red mana in any of those games. Think about it. Think about it real hard. Consider it. Oh, dear Jesus. That's frightening. No, don't like that. Unless we hit a red next turn, and then it's like... Then we're just golden. Terrible. <laughs> Come on, mountain. Single mountain in our deck. Why are the cards coming from the bottom? They're like coming from my hand. It's very strange. That's kind of like a red, but not really. You know what you did. Oh, boy. Well, Legacy isn't Ragavan because there's no Ragavan in Legacy, but your point still stands. Legacy is actually mostly... Uh, <laughs> A bunch of initiative decks. It's kind of hilarious. Cycle Break Asunder. Sure. D -d -d deal. <laughs> yeah, an initiative. Actually, I think initiative is like two months old. But I mean, like, it's it's funny because. It was like a, a mechanic that was barely played at all, and now all of a sudden it's like, literally, like they're playing every, um, every initiative card, even like the really really bad rate common ones. Uh, let's see if I have any in the stack here. Like vicious battle rager, four mana for a one five. When it enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. Uh, whenever it becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller loses five life. Like it's just a really weird. Uh, CLB common but it's played because it has the initiative oh that's that's interesting one two three four five should we lead with this one as like a bait probably so next time we can play five drop and crack this for for mountain and then our mana base is actually basically immaculate. Gorgeous. Wow, they really have the eight mana now, huh? Uh, so this guy becomes a seven seven. We do want to, mm, yeah, we'll block, sure. But this makes them use their whole turn, so whatever. 
I lose a counter, you lose your turn. It's a time walk. See, that's a reasonable card as well. I'm just going to do this now to so save us time. Oh my god, I almost didn't see it because they all look the same. I was like, oh no. I'm just going to pass. We block again. We play Flame Tongue. If they kill our Sarah, though, that's going to be sad. Not going to like that. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. You got it, my man. Oh, we were comboing. Oh, we're living the dream. Two, three, four. Okay. I'm just going to kill this guy because on the attack it's a 7-7 seven, seven every turn. I also don't think they're going to have a way to deal with Flame Tongue Kavu next turn, so I'm just going to play Nomad Decoy. Plan to block here. And then we can keep up White Mane Lion next turn. A little far off of threshold here, but... Still a solid gentleman. Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to, like, taking seven or losing a 1-1 one -one counter, like, you know, we're going to go with the counter every time. I guess that was pretty good, so. <sighs> yeah, playing Flame Tongue Kavu is like, it's, a, it's like a, it's a vibe, as the kids would say, you know. This, this hand is not how... Actually, Slippery Karst makes it worth it. Isn't that funny? How having two lands, even though they don't cast any of your spells, it's good enough for me. That's fine. It's going to be planes on top anyway, so it's totally fine. I, I assure you. I lied, but that's okay. If we hit Call of the Herd into planes, I'm I'm golden. Still okay, it lets us play Primarch. <sighs> What's going on? I'm quite confused. You got it. So many bears. So little graveyards. If they attacked, I would have definitely blocked because then it just makes our tree folk better. I actually might sack this because we have five lands and I'd rather get closer to another land and cast anything else that's in my hand. So. Oh, also we have six with the werebear, so. But I'm going to go on record in saying there's definitely going to be a land on, in one of the top two cards of our library. Does no one know how to use Phyrexian Ghoul? Oh, no. Not that. I don't understand. Like, no one actually attacks with their Phyrexian Ghouls. Shocking. Well, we're not going to play Deadwood until we block next turn with our Kavu Primark. And then Deadwood just gets better. You can work at night by night. <laughs> uh, just that guy, huh? Primark it is. And then we'll get it back with our Deadwood Tree Folk. They have two cards. And our hand is just doing really well with just, just greens. Give 
Give me that. Just this guy, huh? Um... I feel like we just chump block it. Kavu Primark blocks it just fine, and I don't need to trade a elephant token. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's pretty good. A classic. <laughs> You got it. Wow, this is a lot of wild growth on. Oh, thank Jesus. All right. So four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at 19. That's quite healthy. So I don't actually know if Nomad Decoy here is just better. It might be, but I don't know if that's great. Okay. So this blocks here, and I assume like they're gonna start sacking those one ones to this guy, maybe. And if that's the case, then I'd rather have Radiance Judgment up. Are they just casting an Elvish Spear Guide? That's wild. Ugh. So two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to like sack so many things. I'll just take it. <laughs> and I'd rather keep Radiance Judgment up for when you like go ham into that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's also they could deal us eighteen if they sacked everything. So if they actually have like plus one plus one combat trick, we die. <laughs> oh, if they pray if you if they played that, we actually would have had to block. That's hilarious. Really wish that was a white source so I could play both of these guys, but. Just use the mana that's in the pool, man. I'm giving you the mana. Actually, I think we play decoy here. We have enough blockers to chump block this guy and the symbiotic beast. So, I'd rather just get the Nomad Decoy down ASAP. He's eating these homies, no cap. That was, that was ages ago. There's been no Flame Tongue Kawas here. I think Super Fritz is having a stroke. Wow. Jesus, like every every <laughs> every game I have to see seven Icker slicks, I guess. Sure. Oh, he said it ages ago. God, I guess the chat's just been quiet. No one's really no one's really interacting here. Um, I don't think I need Werebear. And at his best, he's only plus one, plus one. But this does force them to sacrifice something. Yeah, get rid of that fat idiot.
He's back. Actually, he didn't leave. The other guy left, so I guess he's he's still here. Get in there with that ghoul. So this guy becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. This seems like an easy trade, I guess. He's like, joke's on you. <laughs> I'm gonna go all in. Wait, really? They're just going to make me take two? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. This is 18 damage. They could literally just... If they just went all in, then they win. Of course, if we play white main lion right now, they can go all in after that, which is unfortunate. So I guess we just trade here. And I take dose. This is ridiculous. Now they're doing quite well. Dude, one white has been such a burden this game. Jesus, is that a second juggernaut? Jesus. And a Kavu Primark? Wow. Okay. Where's the Wrath of God now? Block... Just you, I guess. Take four. Oh, God. That's it? What? They didn't sack one more to kill me. Oh, what? That's so bad. I mean, we're dead here. I'm not sure one more... Uh, wow, that's shockingly bad. Um, <laughs> probably seems good against them. Uh, boy, drawing planes also seems really good. I'm just going to 41 here. Oh, the loco. What up, buddy? Tell Italy I said hey. Sure. Turn three, we can get a mountain. Turn four. We can cavo it up. Excellent. Uh, 
Let's go get a little... Let's get a little Montagna. That was a confusing game. Like... Fascinating. It's so sad when you don't have a, a white creature in play before you play Battle Screech because then like it takes you almost two more turns to actually start getting getting through with the screeches. That guy's cute. He's dead, but he I mean cute, you know. Top deck white main lion one time. Give me that white main lion. I just want oh dang. One, two, three, four. Five. I mean I guess you're killing Cabo, but you're not putting anything else on the board. My graveyard's looking fat. So fingers crossed. Where's an overrun when you need it? Triumph of the Horde. <laughs> That's annoying, but I'm not sure it's that great here. Especially if you're tapping it for mana. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sad this guy doesn't have trample, you know? Hard casting Elvish Spirit Guide, man. That's funny. That's good. Oh, fascinating. Who saw that coming? Literally everybody. Give me them birds. Just gonna keep Weir Bear in hand. Extra one one's not gonna do much here, I don't think. And uh, might as well sandbag something in case they damnation. Oh, look at that! Look at that fatty. So if we alpha here, they block the three and take four. I think our Air Force is looking pretty good. Our turn. We have one card. We're hoping it's not Ickerslick. 
but they don't have enough mana. One, two, three, four, four. Everybody get in there. So they take seven here, and we gain three. That feels right. And now Juggernaut has to walk into the Primark. Play this guy. Next turn they can block here and they only take six. So that's worse. We are, what? <laughs> Did they tap a land after they conceded? Wild. 2-0, not bad. Feels like we uh, uh, we leveled up here. I'm going to go to bed. It was cool being in here. I sang you the audio clip, but I didn't do a good job. Spencer, I love you, buddy. Have a good night, my dude. It's always good seeing you. Spencer, can you message me your address on Facebook? Unless he's already gone. Oh, goodbye. I'll keep this. It's slow, but we're on the play, and you know you get to draw cards. This is our this is our our edited deck, right? We've changed it forever. Nice. It's changed forever. Oh, that was a good hit. That sets us up real good. This guy. Now they have counterspell mana. Boo. Maybe they snap this guy? They didn't. Okay. Well, I mean, do we play a thing or do we wait for them to play a thing? We'll play a thing, right? They can counter it. Whatever. They didn't counter it. Now we feel really good about all our life decisions. Everything is coming up Millhouse. My... Cuffs are soaked, but my feet are bone dry. Everything's coming up mill house. We're having a good time. Uh, now I'll bounce that. Sure, you got it. They always have it when they need it, you know? <laughs> I gotta get in there. They love, people love trading their, their snap for the one card they draw off the even magpie. It's like their favorite thing to do. Joke's on you, buddy. Hmm. They're just going to five here? Uh, 
Everyone knows it's flamey. And then we kill this magpie. Yeah, for Dominary Remastered, they should have let damage go on the stack again. <laughs> Which was not confusing for anyone at all when you're trying to teach them how magic works. Oh, we just win the game. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, uh, Man, damage on the stack was when Mog Fanatic was living its best life. Uh, sure, we'll do it again. Hmm. We'll play this because we don't have a fourth, or fifth, or sixth land at this point. I like that. That is a zesty, zesty, spicy to draw. Our opponent's name is Online Magix. <laughs> He's Online Magix playing Magix online. Ever heard of it? Uh, let's, let's get aggressive. You think they're going to snap? For the O for 1? Oh, Factor Fiction. Fancy. Uh, I don't, God, I don't care about any of these. These should be separate because they're a little combo. Uh, this is really un... This is probably the best pile. They just take this. Who knows? Um, Ovenized and Quicksilver Dagger? They turn our creature into an O1 and then they shoot it? Dagger doesn't go to... Let's guess it's not a combo. So they took these three. It's... Still fine with that. Old Stoker. Shukata Lancer. Snap. They always have the snapper, you know. Yeah, I also didn't realize it only went face. Like, it seems like a subtle, a subtle distinction and for a, a, an obscure card that doesn't see a lot of constructive play. Grape shot. This is interesting. So now they have still these three cards. And 
And we have no graveyard, unfortunately. Unfortunately, our blocks are terrible now because they have oven eyes. Yeah, we're just gonna block because they're just gonna, let's get the oven eyes out of their hand. Yep. And if we draw a land, we just get to play Deadwood Tree Folk. Like you do. Followed up with the gargoyle that gains us some life back. So you know they have obsessive search, and that's the only known card. But three sixes are hard to deal with with red and blue. I can open eyes again. What does Hermetic Study do? Okay, you got that. You got that. Oh, wow. So now they have Obsessive Search and one more card. And now they have two more cards in Obsessive Search. That seems good for us. We get to gain a little life. Presuming they don't draw a two mana spell that gets rid of our Gargoyle. Yeah, don't care about that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, four. So we can actually play Nomad Decoy just to block of this guy and Kavu Primark. Unfortunately, these guys attack as three threes. <laughs> So that's kind of annoying. If we play just Sarah, we can block these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it might just be Sarah Angel. Oh yeah, take that damage, my friend. So we have two blockers. We can block three, four, and three, three to kill them. Take six, go to two. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. And are we dead? This is a big slow roll if we're not dead. Two, three, four. Unfortunately, even if we draw an island for Tatiova, she would not trigger. We're at five. And we can play one, two, three for decoy. Mystic and Forcey. Now we're at five with three blockers. We know they don't have removal, so feels good. We have lethal on board with flyers. Are we gonna 3 0 this Dominary Remaster draft? Are they gonna have to go all in here? Probably. 
just stay the course, I guess. They lose all three of their guys. We still have two fly boys. We're at five. Is that the end? Nobody knows. Be sure to check out HelloFresh. It's a great deal. 21 free meals over the first eight deliveries along with free shipping. It's an awesome, awesome... What was that? Well, that was unfortunate. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy this turn and next turn we have Tatiova. That's not... What? Oh, God. Come on. That was terrible. What did I click the non... What the fuck? That's terrible. That's extremely frustrating. Wow, what a game changer that was. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm aware of the options. I just didn't think I just kicked regular, clicked regular cast. Uh, so we're definitely getting rid of the magpie here, awkwardly enough. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I feel like this guy's the play. <laughs> This is, just, this is just lethal next turn. Let's see if our Primark misclick costs us the game. They did not get in there, so it's looking less likely that that's the case. Sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they're going to do something. Sure. Oh. Oh, yeah, big cycles. Do they still have obsessive search in hand? Oh, it's in the graveyard. It's been in the graveyard for ages, I guess. Oh yeah, they're in block mode now, boy. Mm, fascinating. Let me see your chumps. We're gonna cycle this. I, I don't think this is gonna be super relevant in this game. Let's play this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, crack this guy. Get another white. Keep them cards rolling. I think this game's probably over. 3-0, not bad. What a bold assumption before our opponent has conceded. Just kidding, they've conceded. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank Laporte. You can also check out HelloFresh. The link and description are above and in the description below. Uh, so you can you can do that. The link and promo code rather than the link and description. Definitely check it out. There's only about four days left. Uh, you have to subscribe by February 1st, uh, which would mean an absolute ton to me. They give you a, a solid kickback for each subscription. And you can cancel after the first week if you don't like it. The first delivery even. So it's not like super big commitment. You can spend 30 bucks. Me and Katie spent 28 bucks on our first delivery. We got three meals with two servings each. They were amazing and uh, really enjoyed it. And you guys can do the same. And you can support your local streamer. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.